Are you right and sure about everything that you have, your concepts of the world, your concepts of life? Or is it still evolving, still trying to come together? A lot of people run to science. They say, well, follow the science. Yet science doesn't lie, but scientists do. People, people have to come up with and understand what they're looking at. And an interesting thing is sometimes we have to have a change of mind that maybe I'm messed up. Maybe I've made a mistake in how I'm coming at life. Check out this verse here. This is in Acts, this is in the Bible, Acts chapter 20, verse 21. Paul taught, testifying to Jews and also to Greeks, repentance towards God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. Truly to repent is to have a change of mind. See, to the people he was talking to, especially the Jews, they literally had 613 laws that they followed. 613. Almost half of them were things they had to do, and about half of them were things that they could not do. But they literally thought that if they did these, they would be made righteous. They would have a right standing with the Father if they followed all of these laws. But Jesus came on, John the Baptist first, then Jesus, and now Paul with the same message, this repentance. Have a change of mind. You can't get to heaven based on your good works. Now, when I'm on the street, all over the Northwest and even into Mexico, just about everybody I meet, if I ask them, do you think you're going to heaven? 90% say, yeah, I think I am. I'm a pretty good guy, you know. At least I'm not as bad as, you know, him. Or... You know, and we compare ourselves. But the Bible actually says that if you sin once, one lie, you're suppo- you deserve to go to hell. That's everybody, okay? We've all lied at least once. We've all thought at least one mean thought or one covetous thought or one lustful thought in our life. We need to repent and turn from trying to get to heaven based on our good stuff that we do and realize it's about Jesus Christ and his finished work on that cross. Cry out to him. He has finished it all. Hold on to Jesus and him alone for your salvation. And your life's going to change because he is going to come into your life. It's going to be an amazing thing. I sure love you guys. Hold fast to Jesus Christ. Have a good day.